Fantasy Footballers Mock Draft. All right. It's time for a mock draft, gentlemen. Drafting from the 12 spot, 12 team league, half PPR. One quarterback, two running back, two wide receiver, one tight end, one flex. So I would go Jacobs Julio here. That would be the two picks that I would take. If, if this was if this was my draft and this was real, those would absolutely be the the two players I would take as well. You you go Jacobs and Julio. Jacobs and Julio. I yeah. think that's what. Is we, it because you just need all the J's? That's on your right. Team? I am Jason. I want Jacobs. I want. Who do you want to give the Julio. honor? Of, yeah, Julio's his name. Who who do you want to give the honor of the first round draft? I mean, we're back uh, to that. Okay. You got to give it to Julio. I, obviously, mm. it doesn't make a difference, but he's in. The, you know, he is a higher tier. All within right. his position. Whether Mike Respect was, the man. Whether Mike was comfortable with it or not, since we fine. both agreed perfectly, Josh Jacobs, Julio Jones, we're locked into the Jays, obviously. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, a, a really nice start. Um, well, and we can test it out, right? We can look now and say, what if we had gone running back, running back? What wide receivers would we be forced into taking here? We're back on the clock with two picks. Let me give you a lay of the land. At wide receiver, you have D.J. Moore. You mm. have A.J. Brown. You have mm. Calvin Ridley. You have Robert Woods. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I was pretty sure Ridley and Woods would still be here, you know, and maybe that's kind of analyzing the draft and saying, well, would you have been happier taking another running back and then going, you know, Ridley and Woods? I don't know. Julio's pretty great, so I feel pretty comfortable. To me, uh, D.J. Moore being here, he is – phenomenal um mike i know you're all in you've been yeah. mr dj Moore. where do you stand on the value of dj Moore, andy because i i have him more like mike as a you know a, a very high-end fantasy asset this year yeah i mean i, I like dj Moore, aj brown calvin ridley robert woods i'm not positive i would i, I would probably take robert woods over dj Moore if it's my own draft to myself sure um but we're we got two picks here, so we you know Chris Carson's still on the board at running back, Lev Bell. You get into this like pool of of maybe disappointment running back group with Lev Bell, James Conner, David Johnson, David Montgomery. All four of those guys have a little bit of stink mm-hmm. in their shoes. Um, Mark Ingram's still there. We we talked about him dropping. Does he drop to our next pick? Probably not. Yeah, usually, here's one of the things you have to be aware of when you're doing a draft at the turn. Whoever you're hoping <laughs> makes it to the next pick. It's going to be a long wait. Always assume they don't. Like, literally, you can't play the ADP game when you're at the turn. That's something that has, you know, it took me years to finally accept. I'm Because that's one of the things I do the most at drafts. As I play the ADP game, who do I think will fall to the next pick? Don't do that. Get the guys you want. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to end up at the turn taking players a little bit sooner than you want to. Yeah, reach, or not getting them. Reach those for are who the you choices. believe in, or don't get them. That's exactly right. So I'm I'm happy to lock DJ Moore, and if you guys both like DJ Moore than DJ Moore more than Robert Woods, I do. Uh, it's they're very close. So right now in my projections, I'm I'm very bullish. I have DJ Moore ranked at number six, but I have Robert Woods at ten. So th- these aren't. Is huge there any world you take? Both of those players here, because you're in a flex, you're in a half PPR. If you thought that you could get a player like, let's say, like Raheem Mostert, or maybe somebody like Montgomery or Ingram slips to our next pick, is the tier break big enough? Yeah, that that I don't want my RB two to be someone. Do you feel like it's that much of a lock though that Chris Carson offers you a tier difference than David Montgomery? I don't. I don't think David Montgomery will be there. In you know, twenty four more picks is my point. I think the tier break to the next pick. If we were to go wide receiver, yeah. If you end up with Devin Singletary or DeAndre be, Swift, or I, I don't want that be that a for problem. My running back too. And looking backwards, hindsight, and that's the point of mock drafts. I would have preferred to take Kenyon Drake or Nick Chubb, lose Julio, and, then and go, instead go DJ Moore and Robert Woods. Yeah, yeah. I would I would rather have that four pack. So that's my, the fun of the turn. Enjoy kudos, it. Kudos to you on on that call. Um do you like Carson or Lev Belmore as your RB2 on a team with Josh Jacobs? <laughs> I prefer. It sucks. Chris Carson's injury sucks, man. We know he's going to be the starter. This should be easy. It should easily be Chris Carson. I think it is Chris Carson for me. I was going to say it is easy to me, uh, but right. the hesitation is because of the injury. So I'll we- lock DJ Moore in. Yeah, I think okay. DJ Moore and Chris Carson seem like the right picks here. Now, Do you want to make a case against Chris Carson, Mike, before we 
It's just the the unknown of if you're drafting right now. He's injured. Is he actually going to be ready for the I season? I feel like we're in the, the, the world of unknown here. David Johnson, James Conner. That's why I don't like these running backs. Yeah, but we're we're this is the bed we made. Lay your head down on the you pillow, made Mike. This bed we did. <laughs> we we did. as a you as get we me collectively. out. You were in. You Julio just got Jones and DJ Moore as a combination of wide receivers is pretty devastating. Yes, and if Chris Carson offers you, look, we might need a little bit more depth at running back. It's, it, that's never a problem. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a problem getting. It's it. always a problem. It's a problem getting it, but it's like. Never something you don't need. So we're going to be focusing there no matter what. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.